Welcome back to HodgePodge. This is a quick video meant to introduce you to the control panel in Adobe Illustrator. This video is also a part of a full and comprehensive series covering the basics to advanced use of Adobe Illustrator CC. Feel free to go back or skip ahead as needed. The control panel in Adobe Illustrator is an excellent panel that you will definitely make use of when illustrating in the program. I don't think I can recall a time where I have not used the control panel when using Adobe Illustrator. However, the control panel is not necessary and will not limit your ability to design in Illustrator. The control panel is simply a shortcut to all your essential illustrating elements like stroke, fill, opacity, and more. To bring up the control panel, go to the top menu and select Window, Workspace, and Essentials Classic. If we click on the rectangle from the control panel, we may change the color selection for your fill, the color selection for your stroke, the stroke width, the stroke profile, the stroke style, the opacity, the style of the fill, to recolor the artwork, to align the selection, to change the shape properties, to transform the selection, and the Select Similar Objects tool. The beauty of the control panel tool is that these are all the general changes you might make to your object, and these options will change depending on what you have selected. When just selecting the white artboard, we are given document setup and preferences. Now I will select my type. We will still have the option to change the fill and the stroke color, the stroke width, profile, opacity, and to recolor the artwork. Now because we have selected type, we also have the option to change the font, the font style, the font size, the paragraph characteristics, warping options, and all the original alignment and transforming options that we had before. Now keep in mind that all the underlying text can be clicked on to reveal larger menus for further quick editing with your control panel. These elements can be accessed and changed in many different ways. The control panel is just there as a shortcut for the manipulation of these elements. We will go over the many ways to change these attributes in the following tutorials, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon. Lastly, like your toolbar, you are able to reorient this window by clicking and dragging at the far left border. You may have your panel floating mid-screen, or if you would like it to be mounted as it was before, just click and drag it back into place and release when the anchor is highlighted blue. As always, feel free to leave a like, check out my other videos, and subscribe!